Hi right, guys, it's that time of the week again. So, I currently ran out of food. Now, the goal of tonight's small meal prep is to basically show you that it doesn't take a lot of time to actually do this and implement this. I'm literally just going to take three packages of pre-sliced uh, chicken breast, it's thin sliced, and put it all in this pan right here, okay? And then I'll cook it, it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe not even that long because they're thin sliced. It usually depends on um, how thick it actually is because they're not all uniform. But it'll just take that long to cook the food. While I'm doing that, I'll steam the vegetables, come up here and just put it all into the bins. It should take me roughly 30 minutes to 40 minutes and I'll be set for the rest of the week. That's the amount of time you guys should be spending on meal prep. You don't need to spend like two, three hours. I could see maybe spending an hour and 15, maybe an hour and a half tops if you're cooking like fish, steak, chicken, a ton of vegetables, and your carbohydrates. Like that does take a lot. Usually people don't have enough stove room or counter space to do it all at once. Um, but other than that, that should uh, be how it's done. So what we're going to use is we're going to use a tiny bit of coconut oil to grease up the pan real quick. And then we'll set the chicken on. All right. So this is a tiny bit of coconut oil. You can barely see it. Don't overdo it, guys. Alright, guys. So as you see, the whole pan is filled up with chicken. That took me about three minutes. Okay? Just three minutes. So now, of course, nobody wants plain chicken. So what I use is this stuff. Pretty sure I've showed it to you before. It doesn't have very bad nutritional facts at all. That's why I use it. It doesn't really add too, too much to the chicken, but it does add taste. Um, now, I know a lot of you guys might be like, oh, you just make the same thing every week. Well, um, it works for me. So, yeah. But the thing is, is I have made fish, steak, uh, chicken, pork. Um, I add all of my different things together. And also, you don't need to measure this stuff out because the nutritional facts are actually decent enough where it's not going to have too much of an adverse effect on you. Alright, so we're done. Okay. I did add a little bit of pepper and salt. I forgot to film that. Um, not very too much salt at all. Um, probably like I use this kind of salt. Yes, it's pink. Don't judge. But um, I feel like it's better for you. There's been studies on it. Not too much of a difference. Um, it does have a little bit less sodium, I suppose. Um, but it's salt which just has a lot of sodium in general. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go check to see if the oven is free and toss all this stuff in there. 15 minutes. So I did decide that I want a bit of pasta. Probably will only have that for tonight. Um, I don't eat carbs very often. So it's not to say like I'm on a completely, strictly no-carb diet or I do low-carb, uh, well, sorry, low-carbohydrate high carbohydrate or carb cycling um, but what I do is I technically I do use carb cycling however basically throughout the course of the week I will have protein my meats and I'll have veggies and I'll just eat that with my meals and I'll have like eggs and fruit for breakfast so I don't really get carbohydrates and what I found is that I do like three or four days of just like not really eating carbs because I don't really need them in my diet. I'm not craving them. And then I'll carb up on another day and then like I'll do that at, during dinner when I usually carb up. And then next morning I'll notice that like I look pretty freaking jacked. So I kind of like it. Um, there is a bit of like the science of carb cycling behind it. So if you guys do look into it um, um, or if you want me to do a video on it, I can. Um, but I'm basically taking the same approach with this like type of eating to everything else that I've done. I'm taking the easy approach to it. I'm doing it, but I'm not going gun ho I'm not like killing myself over it, making sure I do everything 100% perfectly. Um, this is kind of a fitness journey that I started in May, and I want it to be realistic. I want other people to be able to do it, and I want it to be easy for other people to follow, which is why I've been doing it exactly by my own book. I'm not following anybody's regimented plan. I'm making it all myself. So like, you guys can do the exact same thing and that's the point of this channel. 
you learn by example. You see what I'm doing? You can mimic it very easily. That's the point of this, guys, okay? I hope you understand that. Alright? My water is not boiling, but I'm using this kind of thing right here instead of my stove because I want to stay up here and edit videos while I cook. Multitasking. That's what you're supposed to do. So for the pasta I'm making, I'm going to make four servings. And by this brand here, four servings is 56 grams of serving, so 224 grams. So I will measure this out, and I'll do it when it is dry. Um, that way, it all makes sense. Oh, one over. Look at that. So the water is slightly simmering. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that is typically when I toss my pasta in. Oh. So we'll give this a little stir. Get everything rolling. So now I have just like a small talk. So about like a week or so ago, or like even two weeks ago, not really sure at this point, um, I was basically posting like twice, no not even, I was basically posting like almost every day to YouTube, if not every other day. And so it slowed down a little bit this week. And um, there's reasons behind it, and it's because as many of you know, I graduated in May and I accepted a job offer in like November of this year, this past year. So, um, well I should say that I accepted a job offer in November, but I graduated in May, so there was like a long time in between that. And now everything's finally come together and I'm starting in, on July 11th for work. So I'm actually going up to New Hampshire to do like my drug test, processing, psych screening, all this other stuff for the company. and. I've been having to go through the whole process of finding a place to live. So that's what I've been doing, that's taken up quite a bit of my time because I wanted to find a nice place and I wanted to be in an area that was close to work but also in an area that had a really nice gym um, that was a reasonable distance from work and from my housing because I didn't want to be traveling a half hour this way, I have to go 45 minutes this way to like get everywhere I needed. So I actually ended up finding housing and a gym on the exact same road or exact same route to my work. So basically the house that I found is 24 minutes away from my work. The gym is 12 minutes away from my house which puts it literally right in the middle of my commute from home to work. So I can either go to the gym before work or after work or even go home and then come back and go to the gym. And it makes just my life and the lifestyle I want to have so much easier. And that's like a big part of this channel too, is showing you how to manage like athletics gym, how to do all of this stuff, how to manage your life around it, how to have good quality of life while doing all of these things that you need to do to have the type of body that you want. And so that's taking up a bit of my time. I wasn't able to film as much as I wanted to about all that stuff because I was like keeping on the down world. So you always like that mentality of keep your next move secret, that kind of thing. But uh, I am going up there tomorrow, early in the morning, taking care of the work stuff, then going to see the place. And I'm hoping it's as good as it looks. I did find it on Craigslist though, so I'm a little like, sketched out. Hopefully the guy doesn't kill me, that kind of thing. Um, but I don't think he will. He seems pretty chill. Everything that I've gone through has checked out on him. And I'm sure he's gone through my references and everything else already. So hopefully it works out, and he seems mad chill too. So if it does work out, you guys might be seeing a lot of him on the channel because he says he likes to work out, so we're going to test that. Alright guys, so I almost forgot to steam my vegetables, so i got to start doing that now. So this is the steamer I use. It's a really small thing. Um, that thing gets in the sun, it gets mad hot. But we got our scale set up, and we got our green beans here. So let's move this 
back over here, slide this back a little bit. Okay. And we're gonna put in about 480 grams of green beans, and this is frozen, okay? So it may take a while, I'll probably speed this up. So to me, this is roughly like, I'd say six servings of green beans. 40, yeah, about six, I'd say. But um, I do tend to like weigh them out as like, oh, I need 80 grams of meal or something like that. So we'll just see how this goes. All right. Everything's going, oh, we gotta stir this. Yo, and just so you guys know, we are only at the 18 minute mark, okay? Still under a half hour. All right, we got our, our veggies steaming. Our pasta is actually done, so let's see if I can skillfully do this. Turn this guy down first. Mm, all right. Yep. No, this isn't working well. Okay. Oh, there we go. We fogged up the lens. Nice. We back. We back. Let that cool off for a second, and I'll go get the chicken. Alright, so tonight is a big meal. So, we have a very large plate for it. Now, pasta's all made. I added a, you can't really see it on here, but I added some pepper, um, and a bit of garlic. Um, not just straight garlic, garlic powder. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So now we're going to weigh this stuff out. Alright, so that's enough for me. I'm going to have about 180 grams of cooked pasta. There's still about half of it left. So, uh, the only thing with pasta, I haven't looked it up, so I'm sure a quick Google search will tell me the answer. But I'm not sure exactly how to equate the grams that I had before the dry weight to the wet weight of the pasta. So, if you guys want to know that, it might be in my next video. So guys... This terrible, terrible thing just happened. I dropped all the chicken on the way upstairs. <sighs> just kidding. All right, so we got all this cooked now. Um, can you, oh, green one blank, there we go. Got all this cooked right now. So now I'm just gonna put it in some Tupperware and call it a day, put some of it on my plate, wait for the green beans to finish, and guess what? 25 minutes, almost done. Green beans are what's taking a little bit. That's because I put them in a little late. 